But these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. Now Atlanta starting five. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. At the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the center position. And for the Heat. Inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. On the wing, Robinson and Butler. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. Boy, great matchup at the five tonight, Smitty. How do you think the center position has evolved over the last decade? I think shooting by the bigs. The bigs being able to shoot the three. And also them creating more space leads to better offense and more flow. So Atlanta will get the first possession. And here's Bogdanovich. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Duncan Robinson. You know, by the time Bogdan Bogdanovich arrived in the NBA, he was already a well-seasoned pro, Grant. Yeah, he had an impressive run in a number of European leagues, amassing a ton of awards and championships. So he definitely knew what he was getting into when he came stateside to play with the rest of the best. Shooting two. Get the first one. And he's good on the second. Now here's Lowry. Outside Butler. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go for him. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Outside Young. Pass to Capella. Basket's good. An intimidator himself. Capella's not shying away from a little contact. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Over Hunter. Not enough on that one as it misses. Here's Young. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Robinson. Lowry outside. We've got a minute 48 left in the opening quarter. Releases. Is blocked by Collins. Excellent field and timing. Collins does a good job of protecting the rim. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought a hundred pair of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around five thousand pairs overall. Even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. Young, the pass to Capella. Young with it. To the paint. Capella draws the double. Bogdanovich from long range. Nails it from three. Great awareness by Capella to recognize the breakdown defensively. Outside Butler. Pass to Adebayo. No one near him, and it's good. Off the back rim and in. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Young, the pass to Hunter. Collins outside. Now Bogdanovich. 
Launches a three, and the Hawks with another three. I like that. Collins playing under control, reading the floor. Nice set up there. Young against Lowry. Robinson passes to Butler. Outside Tucker. Launches it. The shot, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Young. Second chance shot. And Capella with the lay-in. Capella. Capella's gotten his second bucket. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Butler with the ball. 12 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Lowry outside. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Lowry. Unforced error. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. So it's the Atlanta Hawks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. And don't go far. We'll be right back. What a difference that play makes. It's a real life momentum shift. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play, a dunk, a pass, an assist or something. And it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy, maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. As they come, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Philly, idolizing Allen Iverson. Lowry's tenacity and willingness to put his body on the line actually reminiscent of Iverson's. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the Hawks here in this one? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well-prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively, also keeping them out of sync. Wayne Dedman is out there with Butler. Then there's Victor Oladipo. Then there's Tyler Hero. And it's Akpala in at the three. So that's who Miami starts the second with. They get it again. Hero for three. Good, and Butler gets the assist. He has big-time confidence. Tyler's a decisive shooter who doesn't hesitate when he gets a look. Jimmy Butler, one of the great two-way wings we have. Some call him the most complete wing. Hard to argue with the defense he plays. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And with Butler in his defense, Jimmy he Butler. is a menace. That's Brings intensity and five. energy every game. First also add the versatility with who he can guard. For Always ball. a threat to come up with a steal. He's an elite <laughs> defender. free throws good you had a chance to play under some terrific coaches smitty how influential is good coaching on a team's success they really go hand in hand ba the coach sets the tone for the whole team and strong leadership leads to strong play out on the floor and likely a lot of wins the hawks making a switch here a kongwu's checked in and that one goes in two from the line that time when you look back at the 2010s we had some monster trades in the nba Danilo Gallinari was part of two of them. First in 2011, he was sent from New York to Denver in the Carmelo Jim Anthony deal. Lee. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Right, drives it. 
Second shot opportunity. And the layup is the up and in. Right. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. And the second major deal Gallo was a part of. Smitty, the trade sending Paul George from OKC to the Clippers. Yeah, it was Gallo and SGA. Five first round picks going from the Clips to the Thunder back in 2019. We keep seeing Danilo moved in these blockbuster trades because he's a unique talent at 6'10 with a shooting ability out this world. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Hawks went on a tear last season after naming Nate McMillan their interim head coach. After he won Eastern Conference Coach of the Month and helped guide them to the franchise's first playoff run in four seasons, it seemed inevitable that he'd become the head coach long term. Guys? Nothing new for him, Allie. Good stuff there. Here's Akpala. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Onyeka Okungu. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Now at the line, KZ Akpala. First one falls. So Miami going with an almost entire new group here. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Deadman. Tucker comes in for Jimmy Butler. Robinson, he's checked in for Hero. And it's Lowry in for Oladipo. And so he makes both from the line. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Lowry against Young. Left side Bogdanovich. And he can't get that one. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Lowry the pass to Adebayo. Second left. No good. Misses at the buzzer. What I like about Collins defensively, he understands where he needs to be. And so it's Atlanta leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. After two quarters, it's Atlanta out in front. They have a six-point lead. Kenny, how'd you see it? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their pace, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. And over to Shaq. What'd you think about my own? Terrible execution here on the offensive end. Rushing game, taking bad shots. Here's a thought. Pound the ball inside. Harvard Sinners looks. Just head to the line. Get back on track. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. So far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Boy, Bogdan Bogdanovich really making a difference here. <laughs> There's virtually nothing you can do to stop him. I mean, you can't even contain him. He's been that great. Yeah, and sometimes the strategy in that case, don't let anyone else beat you. You know he's going to get his, so try and keep it to that. Okay. 
Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's who Nate McMillan is starting the second half with. Collins at the four with Capella in center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich, and it's Hunter in at the small forward. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically, centers that live in the paint on both ends of the floor, guys who rack up rebounds and easy buckets. Clint Capella might be the best in the league at rim running. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. Fast break, here we go. Here's Tucker. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Butler's got three yeah. assists in the game. Selfless pass by Butler. He's always ready to put the team's success ahead of his own. Well, when you look at the numbers of Capella, Grant, you see a guy who knows his role. I love it. I mean, Clint never Trey attempts Young. threes. He's not Green. looking to stretch the floor. A career 60-plus percentage shooter. Clint lives on dunks and putbacks, and he's always among the league leaders in rebounding. He's just a force down low. Now here's Lowry. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Hunter against Butler. Hunter passes to Capella. And here's Hunter. Just five to shoot. Throws it up high! And then it's John Collins, Collins with the dunk. One of the best young lob men in the business. John Collins finished with an exclamation point. Pass to Robinson. Out to Lowry. Here's Anabayo. Lowry outside. Back to Anabayo. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Hero, he's checked in for Miami. Victor Oladipo comes in for Lowry. Jang, he's checked in for the Hawks. We're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Outside Young to the middle. And stolen by Adebayo. And they're on the break. Robinson finds some space. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Pass to Chang. Over Adebayo. Adebayo with the rejection. Huge block by Adebayo. Plays the game with aggression and shows no mercy. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Bogdanovich. And he banks in the layup. Bogdanovich has got nine points. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Butler shot is good. Yeah, this speaks to how assertive Butler is. Good at getting deep inside and finishing. High post Young working on Adebayo. Up top Young. Over Butler. Misses the shot. I mean, he closed the gap on that play with his speed. Jimmy Butler on defense is a treat to watch. And And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Bam Adebayo is out there with Duncan Robinson. Then it's Dwayne Dedman. Then there's Victor Oladipo. And it's Hero in at the two spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Sinks it from distance. 
This is what Young is known for. A lights-out perimeter shooter with a lightning quick release. Young against Oladipo. Shoots over Young. Off the left rim and out. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Pass to Gallinari. Back to Young. Lays it up and in off the pretty Young. assist. And the Hawks lead by 11. There's their awareness from Gallinari. He just has a great feel for where the defense is vulnerable. Here's Oladipo. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Gallinari. The Hawks make it a switch here. Capella's checked in. Deep ball. Coming on to the floor for the Hawks. Clint Capella. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. And a bio in the post. Guarded by Capella. Capella with the defensive effort. Knocked away. Here's Gallinari. And it's blocked by Deadman. The seven goal wingspan of Deadman. Hard to get your shot over that. Oladipo against Young. Will it go? Hey, rejected by Capella. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Up top, Gallinari. Counted by Adebayo. Six to shoot. Outside for Gallinari. Off target from three-point range. The Heat have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. And there's no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Hawks. Boy, this was one physical game, guys. <laughs> they obviously felt that was an advantage of theirs coming in, and they were able to be relentless inside as a result. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Clint Capella. No, there's a few ways to control a game, right? You can do it with pace, you can do it with patience and efficiency. Tonight, he did it by owning the boards. So it's Miami now. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Pass to Deadman. Oh, there's the alley! And finished off by Adebayo. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Herter. He's guarded by Hero. Here's Reddish. Hits a three-pointer. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Trey, leadership is such a key part of the point guard position. What's your focus in living up to that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and uh, I think that's where it starts without the court, because that translates on. Bowling, that's something I haven't done in a while. Thanks for the inspiration. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game, and we'll see you next time.